Hello? Good day. Good day, good day. How are you? Alright, let me just set things up a little bit. Just a second. Yeah, well, that that's what I was doing up until now, actually, but... I need just... A little more. Like this. Alright. We are good. Okay, here we go. Yo, good day. How are you? You good, X Cloco? Good to hear that. Very good. So, let's just start things up. I need to um, add details and some some polish. If you were here yesterday, I was working on uh, this part of his shoulder. I needed to transfer details from here to here. And it was kind of a problem because the two parts are not symmetrical at all, uh, as you can see. So yeah, it took uh, a lot of time, but uh, I've managed. And now, now I think it just needs a little bit of polish and um, maybe some details. I don't know yet. Um, I probably not not details more than this because it's already complicated enough. But some polish that that definitely is very well needed. And. Nothing, then we are going to move on into some other areas like this leg in here, it needs some quite some details and um, a little bit of polish. And then we can finish this skin up because it needs a lot of details all over, and that's that should be fast, that's kind of easy to do. Well, not easy, it has to be done well obviously but um, we can finish uh, we can finish it in probably one week okay so what I'm gonna do is to finish this um, shoulder up and uh, let's see let's isolate this so it moves faster. Come on, stop it. All right. And let's start. As you can see, there are some tiny problems, like curvature wise in here. This, um, this needs to be less rough than it is. It's two million polygons. Mm. It's probably needed a little bit more, but uh, we'll see. What I often do for these parts is to select everything around, around it, and mask it so I can't bleed out basically with my tools. And I'll show you in a second why I need that I I'm, I want to work in this um, curve shape like kind of um, a wave a painted wave 
And uh, I think it needs some bevel of some kind, so we're gonna add them. Oops. Yeah, this is probably enough. Um, I wouldn't be working in here, but probably I will touch this part in here as well. Alright, just before polishing it with some trim. Alright, meanwhile I'm doing this. What are you guys up to today? What's going on? You guys working? You guys just chilling? And also, if you can let me know if the music is too loud or too... You can't hear, hear it and you want me to raise it up, just... Just say it. I still haven't figured out uh, what the um, what a good volume is for that during a stream. I think I forgot something. I shouldn't have done this. It's too low. I need um, I need I need it to match this one as well, and uh, and I can't do that uh, because these two uh, parts in here are specular, but they are already different enough. And I can touch this lower part, so we should do those kind of details a little bit higher and try to not mess with this part in here too much. You're trying that NVIDIA game filter thing with one frame. Which one is that? Oh, <laughs> have you broken the stream? I'm sorry. Which, which filter are you talking about? Is it, is it something new? It's a new driver update. Oh, so I will need to do that maybe later during the day and check it out. What does it do? What does it do? Sorry. You press F, Alt F3, another ray shows up and let you know and uh, if you add boss processing effects uh, like <laughs> Alt F F4 yeah you already closed Warframe twice yeah I can, I can see that happening a lot <laughs> they will probably change Alt F3 and uh, what kind of effects you can add like uh, they are forced for sure so yeah, it's they're, they are on the final image, so I can't imagine it will be something related to shadows or something like that. What is it? Do you know? I haven't read anything about it. Um, I find it difficult to keep up. There is a depth of field effect. Oh, cool. But it makes everything blurry. <laughs> yeah, it makes even the subject blurry. That's it. That's the problem. It's kind of hard to set up um, depth of field effect. You can do it manually, I, I don't know. I mean, if the game has the depth of field effect, it's already been set up by the programmers. So... Yeah, 
depth of field doesn't seem to have the z buffer so it can't calculate depth of depth at all oh wow so it's just a blur effect there is a bl <laughs> bloom effect okay i'm disabling the warframe bloom to use that one oh is it better it's one of the um, new generation ones one of the new generation ones they are pretty cool i think but very expensive I don't know, time will tell. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll check them out maybe, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Warframe Bloom has only blinded me. If you're not used to it, yeah, it's not. Um, I mean, yeah, I can see that because when you use energy effects, it gets very messy but uh, it's hard to set up um, a bloom effect that does his, his job spectacularly when there are not um, like very how do you tell very uh, bright lights but also works perfectly when there are those bright lights like in Warframe you have bright lights all the time if a warframe is casting spells and things like that. God, you are not done yet. No, no. <laughs> I just, I'm just starting. Oh, do you mean with the skin? Yeah, I'm just starting as well. <laughs> well, I'm done with this part. I'm. I need to polish it a little bit because moving it, uh, I poly. It makes thing break so uh, I'm here polishing it this is too much just briefly and as fast as I can just clay polish uh, I can't though because this is an asymmetrical piece of shit part so I need to do it manually and make them look close it's just this part of the shoulder though so it, it should be quickly quick enough I mean it should be not not really sure what happened hmm. yeah Yo Feven, did you know about the new NVIDIA um, graphic drivers that lets you add post-processing to any game, apparently? We were talking with um, Xcloco. I have no idea how they are going to manage that. I imagine you have to set them up on your own and like 99.9% .9 of people can't do that. Now, what did they do, you said? I said they, they let you add uh, post-processing effects on top of any game. Sounds messy, yeah. <laughs> That's what it sounds to me as well. I mean, I'm, I'm used to set uh, post-processing up because I, I do it all the time with um, my rendering uh, builds but it's very complicated I mean uh, a shit ton of people couldn't do that without studying how they work or just like plain luck so I don't know if they are going to to be useful Just a shit version of with the fax. I don't know what speed was with the fax is. Never heard of it. And I know you can force some like um, anti-aliasing on with with drivers already. Now this is the true immersive warframe experience I always wanted with a screenshot. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like 
a comic version of Warframe. Pretty nice. It's a post process overlay, okay. Let's give Bloom uh, Bologna Games. Or to do, do the walking scene. Okay. Well that blur though it's added to the final image. It's not layered at all. Uh, well I, I say well it should work anyway. In case a game doesn't have it, but I see. And also that broken thing you showed me. X logo. Um, that that's what happens when you mess up with uh, post processing effects. So <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm, I was saying that sounds uh, probably too complicated. And it isn't letting you stack effects. Wanted to go blind. Oh, what? You should be able to. I can't see any reason why not. But uh, who knows? Maybe it's just an experimental thing. I mean, maybe a vignette effect could be cool for Warframe. Are you done with Zephyr, Faven, already? Jesus, why don't you stop working too much? You're too fast. You're way too fast. Stop it. So I'm not tweaks and then test bake. Oh, it's not your first bake, I hope. <laughs> That sounds like a nightmare. Just go on, okay. <laughs> Not first. Okay, this is already looking better. There is this line I can keep seeing in, in here. I don't know what the fuck it is. Well, I do know what it is, but I need to fix it. 77 million triangles. Okay, that's a lot. Won't be stream now. That's probably not the best idea. Because at you won't be able to see the progress bar. You <laughs> will just see like everything frozen for probably about 10 minutes just for one bake. Ten minutes if it's fast and uh, unless and uh, well, yeah, it's probably about 10 minutes, 10, 15. Those effects could be useful for Captura. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. Well, for taking screenshots, yeah. You, I think, being able to add like post processing effects, it, like setting up the bloom effect and things like that. Yeah. And it will most likely crash to guns when it loads on until the VRAM. I don't know. I I've made some bakes. It doesn't seem to stop for me. I will not have different, very different setups. So I don't know why. Well, I I haven't tried 77 million polygons bakes yet, but yeah, but this CCX bakes are uh, like 40 million. Yeah. For now. My models reach up to 50 million polygons though. 
so but i know uh, when when you do like um the ambient occlusion ray ray casting it stops everything that's for sure <laughs> to time this yeah remember that what I did when uh, I have made Zephyr as well I've just made um, two bakes two separate bakes because at that time my PC was a piece of shit and I had to I saw I've made like uh, legs and uh, everything else separated and then I just merged them on Photoshop because that's the ghetto way to do it do you get increasing quality with such numbers in the end no it doesn't it's just not good with math that, that's a problem no i'm so i'm sorry i'm kidding um yeah of course you do if you want to add uh, a ton of details and have everything polished and perfect but i guess my guess is it can probably go a little bit lower. I'm sure not all the 70 and whatever number of polygons are used to its fullest, for sure. I mean, some areas get like a huge number of polygons, but they don't really need it. But that's how ZBrush works. You can't really prevent that. Just lazy, uh, wanna, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's... I mean, if, you're, if your PC can manage that number of polygons, why should you bother? Yep, 64 gigabyte of RAM, 12. It's not 12, it's 11. I, and, and I know that because it bothers me a lot. <laughs> I have no idea why it's 11. Oh yes, yeah, <laughs> it's 11. You got the raise and like, yeah. And I've got the uh, Coffee Lake i7. Yo, lad, what's up? How are you? Okay, this seems quite okay. I mean, for a bake. Some parts are not very perfect, but they're going to be so so thin that you will pr probably not even notice that. If you can, I'll go back and fix it later. Eat that VRAM. Yep. The original file is 2 gigabyte. Pretty much, yeah. Alright, uh, I need to adjust and make some changes in here. Just a little bit of polishing quickly. Come on. Uh, smoother, probably. Possibly, yeah, thank you. Okay, good. And uh, I don't know why, I mean, this thing bothers me a lot, but uh, I can't really do without it, unless you go up to a gazillion number of polygons. BSS, okay. Brush. Uh, which one is it that? BSS? Use that a lot. I mean, let me check. 
copy ss no blob what oh come on it's not do you have something as polish yeah okay yeah i have that that's 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 what i use um not for this thing though i use it for soft polishing yes that's what it's for uh, but um you, can you see these tiny dots i mean if if i put it like this you can see where all the shitty geometry connects and uh, it makes for a weird spotted things pinch Oh yeah, soft pinch. Uh, yeah, yeah, to do the border. Yeah, or I just uh, what I do usually is just uh, art polish it to flatten the mount like this. Then art polish on top of it. It makes that this tiny border. And then I smooth things out, like on top this part. You have to do it twice. It gets kind of wobbling, yeah, a little bit, but then... Oh, this is way too much. Uh, once you do this, like once you have everything flattened and nice, you can just go back with a slash, a soft slash, like two or three, maybe a big focal length, focal shift, softer, and then pull it out like this. It works. It just raises up a little bit in a softer manner. And that's it. Yeah, you can also demon standard and non dalt and take fire and big and place the edge. Yeah. What you're doing now? Yes. But I, I do it with um with slash because it's softer and it doesn't make other spot like those. You can do it on top and just make a bubble. If you want to achieve a soft look, then that's that's it. If you need the more um, edged and defined, Ooh, this is a little bit of mess. I played with H polish yesterday. Sensitive, but I think I get the hang of it. Slash BS3, right? BS3. What's BS3? 100% CPU load at the moment when baking. You can... When bake... Oh, yeah. You can actually set up if you're using um, toolbag. You can tell it to not use 100% of the CPU. If you intend to do something else. Shortcut for the slash brush. I don't use um, shortcut that much because I use I have all the brushes uh, already set up. I'll show you. It'll, it'll be faster. Same. I have all my my brushes like this down here. That's pretty much everything I use often. If it's something I don't use often, uh, then I'll go fetch it. But I have them already, already there. Yo, it's random. What's up? I mean, doing some polish and details.
Details in a bit. M more Polish now. Yeah, got it. Yeah. I mean, I think I should learn shortcuts, but those can change, and I don't know, I'm all for visual interface thing. Also, it's useful to see what you have selected and what's in your alt keys, if you don't want to look uh, on top of it, see so you can see smooth control. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I think it's fine by, by now. Yeah, let me just add uh, some smoothing. What's the Yanni wig? Ah, fuck, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, Freddy Nazmo. I've got my Vegeta haircut though. That's not really a haircut, it's my outline, but. <laughs> yeah, I have mine set up similarly, but sometimes there is there are brushes that you rarely use. I don't. I don't have brushes that I rarely use in here. I I get rid of them. No, don't leave frailing as much. Come on. Just for a wig. I'll let my hair grow if you want. It will be like awful. <laughs> will be hard to look at. But if you promise you'll stay. I never click on anything. Yeah, some some people are like that. I like to click everything. That's why I love 3D Studio Max. There is there is no shortcut you have to learn. <laughs> it's everything on buttons. That's also how I like my games. I was um, one of those in uh, World of Warcraft with the huge interface with everything that you had to click with mouse with the mouse. But the users need to be master. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I don't use Blender. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, the the Q key, right? It's a shortcut for ZBrush if you want. Yeah, I need to set up a, um, a shortcut for ZBrush for quick things, but I have those on my interface as well. So I, I don't really feel the need. <laughs> wow, I was all about my keyboard shortcut, even in classic days. Yeah, I used to play it since uh, the Burning Crusade. Then I've stopped because, I mean, it's too much. And I was one of those with like a million skills on the screen. Because I used to be a healer though, I mean, I, I'm kind of justified. So I had like all the skills at different um, levels. And you can't really have all those shortcuts. Okay, that's it for this part. Let's move on. Blender UI is kind of chaotic. Blender UI is fucked up. Much like um, Maya, in my humble opinion. No, I'm okay. Yeah, what is the symmetry? Come on. Let's do the gloves. And the rest of this, um, I need some polish as well. Just remove the colors. Yeah, see, like this. This is this is freaking transferring, not fixed. 
not really fun. I never used to use the max out, tried the light wave back in the day, yeah. It's all about uh, modifiers, so you have to go fetch them every time. Sorry. Yeah, Matzan. <laughs> First time you open ZBrush, you're entering the white rabbit layer. And there is no turning back. I mean, there is if you just close it and never open it again. But it's the probably the worst software uh, user interface I've ever seen. <laughs> Welcome back, Coco. You've made Warframe look like a comic book, okay? You've made it crash like 20 times, probably. And accidentally close it without a 4, another 15 by now, is it? I'm joking. Shortcuts are fast, but you end up forgetting where everything is. It's a since you might UE, okay. Oh yeah? Let me check. <laughs> Get fast. Dot txt. <laughs> Can I load them like right now? What do you have in here? I probably can't load them without closing ZBrush though, is it? Probably not. I'll I'll try them though. I very much need an interface with everything. Yeah, let, let me just finish this part and then I'll, I'll try them. Um, because I have things like um, at random places around my central screen that I use very, very often. So yeah, the, the quick interface, it, it was something I, I needed to set up, but I've, I never really sit down and do it. I'll save your role first. Oh, okay. Can you make me a screenshot before of your interface? So I can remember what changes. Okay, so what I want is uh, some... Well, first let me check if there is something to fix, like that part of, you know, on the arm, like this. There's probably more. That's the fruit of transferring details from right to left. And those freaking ends are not quite symmetrical. I mean, this model is a mess. And there is nothing on the end, no. I haven't done anything on the end yet. <laughs> it seems okay. Let me see the other one. You never know. I see, there are problems in here, which I don't, I don't know why. I fucking hate this. Yeah, some stuff in here. Uh, so, well, things that happen. Yeah, that's the quick UI. What do you have in here? I mean, let me see it like this. So, fill object, yes, that's very useful. The Les Mouse interface, which I have down in the, um, the user bar. Dynamash, 
hide, delete, yes, divide, arrest, flip, delete the symmetry, yeah, mirror, mirror and wall. That's very, very well set up. Polygon counts, yeah, I have those in the interface on top. Mm, panel loops, yeah. Yeah, this seems very, very useful. I, I will definitely use it. I mean, uh, there are some things I use sometimes, like um, Aku Curve and... Uh, well, I don't need it anymore, but I used to use that at EUH, which is the save... Um, the, the, the older save states and uh, what else yeah the enable customize and the store config um, buttons but those yeah why not mirror and weld because it's not symmetrical this model is not symmetrical at all so if I mirror and weld that will break everything up This is just Loki, by the way. If it was another Warframe, that would be fine. That would be a, f a fine solution, probably. Not for everybody. Yeah, uh, apparently the ends as well, somehow. I mean, I guess they are symmetrical in the um, UV space, but they are not symmetrical in the position. So I just don't want to risk to, to break everything storm off okay satellite is on top as well yep okay yeah well i may be maybe a lot something but it's pretty much everything you need yeah well thank you favor I'll set it up like in a bit. Also, mirror and world is not um it's not the best solution if you have a central piece because it merges in a weird way the polygons unless you do mirror and weld then you do a a dynamash or a z a z remesh but if you do like mirror and weld then you have you, you start doing like divide um from the get-go you'll have the center part with weirdly merged uh, polygons so it's not always the best solution uh, I seem to have fixed everything that was broken kinda, that had some minor errors so we can start up with uh, adding more details. Yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, let me see the other part. This is good. Yeah, there is some sometimes there are different eights in the in the cuts. But I'm not sure you will be even able to see it once it once it does like um, a projection with the normal map. It will be flattened it out if it's um, in deep in depth already. Okay. So let's design something on those ends. It, they need some detail on top of it. So what I'm about to do is to just use RGB 
and scribble on them In with the colorize button though okay and with the gray let me see if I can give them some curve some waves like this this is probably way too much laser radius for painting okay Probably it would be better if I do it like this. Yes, it's a little bit cooler. Let's just experiment with lines. Let's find out something interesting. I mean, I will need. Come on. Yeah, okay. Probably the central part like this, and what about? Huh, this will be quite difficult. I'm guessing. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, it works kinda because it's the same in the arms and then it gets the same on the shoulder. This part in the arm need, needs a, at least some, some de details. And it will be the same on here. A little bit. So we'll repeat this pattern of waves. I don't know if I want to do it so much because if I I keep repeating this pattern in here, I'll have to put it some way in the helmet, which it's not exactly what I want. I mean, I like the helmet like it is. I don't think um, waves will fit this helmet in any shape or form so maybe maybe the waves are not like the best solution i mean they look cool but it's not uh, a good design choice i think let's save it if i can't find anything else interesting i will be i will come back to the wave design and um, we'll use this but for now I don't think it's the best solution we can come up to we can come up with sorry right baking time and coffee have fun all right Frederick thank you and um, good job do a good job I mean, I know you will. Oh, actually, what um, it will be probably tonight, right? That we will get the new roughing stuff. What do you think? Ooh, my pressure sensitivity just went to shit. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> Bake some good cookies. Bird cookies, yes. Tomorrow. Oh yeah, because uh, his weapon day, right?
Do cookies even exist in Warframe? I'm sure they do. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's probably going to be tomorrow. The new stuff already appeared on the accepted list. Yeah. Yeah, I got the email yesterday. So. So yeah, it's definitely this week, tomorrow. Only in the form of winter griefs. I mean, there are humans in Warframe. I'm sure they they love to eat something. They probably use like some kind of weird weapon to bake things, though, like the laser baking weapon. No one will definitely buy that in our helmet, which is the Kefri helmet, right? I remember that in our helmet because I think it's very cool. Yeah, they eat tower fresh. <laughs> yeah, they eat like spaceships, which is just weird. Walls, yeah. Well, I'm sure you have, you're not familiar with Tutomonie's uh, worlds then, because people eat all sorts of weird stuff in them. I wanted to go for a Beetle Scarab one that opens up, or is permanently open up, but I just didn't have time. I don't know if they make you do it though, because apparently uh, the opening, opening up of the armats is um, an idos thing now, like antlers are an Oberon thing and they're starting not to allow you to do those type of uh, very specific crossovers. Maybe for a full Ainaro Scarab team skin and armat. They won't they still won't let you do it. But uh, I think that 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 team will be cool. I don't know if the shape will accommodate that design though. You'll have to be careful. Just open all the time, all right, like wings open, like, like that, something like that. I don't know, I think it's cool. I just don't think uh, Inaros is a, a very good Warframe to to customize because his body is very weirdly shaped. So it's hard to come up with something that makes it, makes it look very different from the standard one. So you've you've made a good job with that armat, but the real problem I think it's an arrow itself. I'm not liking liking at all what's going on in you right now. No penis. That, that's another problem. Yeah, <laughs> that can be that can be very the dog nipples. <laughs> yeah, that's another, that's another thing. I don't know. It's uh, it's weird. Inaros is one of those weird warframes, like um, like Wukong. Uh, they are very hard to to modify without being able to modify the body. And these separate toenails, yeah, uh, you see. It is, I'm working on him for a couple of months now. So many bits. Matzan, so you are a Tenager designer as well. Or you are just new at this and you are starting right now? I don't know, I, I don't think I remember your name, but I don't remember any name ever, so uh, it's probably my fault. 
<laughs> and uh okay <laughs> you knew okay good maybe you should start with an easier warframe to work with then because it's not the best uh if you're new at this thing to work like months and months uh, with the same warframe without being able to move on because you can't finish it in time uh, excalibur war body not any bits nice shape yeah excalibur is good a lot of warframes are like that though so it Oh, Clocko. Okay, you've changed your name. All right, Codin. Perfect. I love to remember that. Do I like this thing? Not very much. It, I'm just doing lines for the sake of doing lines. Let's not. But you know what I mean, Matzan. You should, if you're new uh, at Warframe, or if, especially if you're new that mo if you are new at modeling, um, you shouldn't work on something really complicated to begin with. You need to make experience, and uh, you need to be able to work on one thing and be able to finish it in. Um, in a timely manner. Yes, you rushed in a comic book style. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> I fucking love it. Cody. I'm freaking loving it. Let's do a poster for on this. I mean, can I publish it? Can I publish it? on Twitter and every, everywhere else. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> let's, let's put it in the, um, in the stream right now. Give me a second. Sure. Okay. Like I'll, I'll show you on, on stream. Oops, my camera is acting up. One second, one second and I'll, I'll answer all, all of your questions. This is, this is great. This is evil. No, <laughs> I'm making a mess. This is evil by you. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> this is evil by you. <laughs> we are loving this right now. All right, let's go back. What have I done? <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> oh man, it's so good. Um uh, Warframe is saying hashtag Warframe is saying How are you today? Can you see the skin so far? Of course you can, give me a second. And uh, my bio skin was the first Tanojan <laughs> item you ever bought. Who's talking right now? <laughs> I mean thank you so much for that, but um <laughs> Who is it? It's kind of weird. Oh, Aidan. Well, thank you so much. 
<laughs> Let, give me a second. Um, I have to set up. I have I messed up a thing on the stream. I'm trying to fix it. So just a second, and I'll show you the, the entire skin. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of already. Okay, let's transition to this. Welcome, Maidan. And uh, thank you so much for buying my bio skin. I mean, it was very hard to make, so I'm really glad you like it. And this is uh, Loki Kodama. Which is not not there, I'm not 100% there right now. We, I'm working on adding some details, polishing stuff, and uh, the helmet needs both a polish stuff, a polish pass, and uh, a detail pass. Let me show you uh, the whole part. This looks awesome so far. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it's taken me quite quite a while, and I had to do some adjustments that um, have been suggested by the Tenogen team. But I think it's working pretty well right now, and I still don't know if uh, I'm allowed to keep this part in here. I love those overlapping diagonals you use. Yeah, I do as well, but uh, <laughs> what I've been told is try to not use them <laughs> so so often. So uh, I don't know. I hope they let me keep at least those. I mean, I have some others in here, but it's it's a tiny detail. And also in here, it's a tiny reminder of Zephyr Agoromo and um, Ivara Yokai. But yeah, these are big, they are pretty big, so I hope they let me keep it. Otherwise, I'll have to come up with some uh, something else amazing. Which I'm sure it won't, wouldn't be a problem, but it will take me some time. But yeah, I do love those as well, so let's cross our, our fingers and hope for the best. Blood. <laughs> no, come on. Not in here as well. <laughs> no. I hope they do because it's a nice detail. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, it was w way bigger before. It was like the whole shoulder and the whole rib cage. Right now, it's like not even half. So. I hope is this tiny bit is uh, is okay. I mean, there are different materials all over, so they won't they won't look like a, a huge piece when it's all painted. So maybe that helps. Right. Let me come back to add adding details to these ends. They are quite barren right now. I mean, it's just a flat surface. So let's make something amazing with them. Maybe, okay, I have an idea. Maybe we can do something like on just one finger. Like, well, this is way too huge anyway. Maybe we can do something like this. And, um, it is high, the game Warframe. <laughs> Aidan, can I ask you what do you do with um, with the Digital Extreme team and Taylor? Do you work on um, the Tenogen stuff? I'm trying to remember all the people that work at DE, but it's quite difficult because, um, I mean, most of you 
don't show up very often and uh, I don't want to come and stalker you on your private profiles but if you're in here I mean I'm guessing it's okay to ask at least if you don't mind I want to get my hands on the Cora files before she even arrives. <laughs> I've seen that, uh, lad. I've seen you already started working on on Cora. I mean, give it a second, damn. Uh, okay, work for myself, aware. Yep. Work for myself, alone. Yes. Yes, I spend a lot of time with you. Game. <laughs> friend that you remember, yeah. Um, you work in the community, so mostly work with partners. I moderate the forums and I do other stuff as well. Okay, cool. So uh, you are a community manager. Great. I was going to do a drop on work with partners streaming, but then I saw you were doing this, so I wanted to say hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Can I ask you? Um, I'm definitely not a YouTuber, but I'd really, la I'd really like to have the partner glyph in the warframe game but i don't know how to achieve that i mean i could ask people to just subscribe to my channel and get to 2000 uh 2000 viewers but uh i mean that wouldn't be useful as i think it would be kind of like cheating but i think I think at least a couple of Thermogen artists are contributing to the game, don't you think? Yep, so basically you will need to join the weapon. Yeah, in... Uh, yeah, not to uh, take every anything from the other partners though, like if there is some share things or... I don't know. So keep making awesome content streams and chat. Yeah, well, I will, for sure. I'm just asking if I have to reach some kind of numbers. Cause you know, uh, that will be easy to cheat. <laughs> if I just wanted to, I'm, I wouldn't do that, I think. I would not mind, but you're able to pass bugs to the devs. Uh, that's probably not the the appropriate channel. Coding. Just keep streaming. I will keep streaming, for sure. But uh, it's not like uh, if I'm playing something and people will show up in numbers. It's kind of niche um, type of a content. Because it's mostly boring, you know that. Yeah, we still have the 2,500 followers subscribers minimum, but most importantly, we care about the quality of the content you make. So, okay. Perfect. I guess. Oh, sorry. I guess I'll I'll keep doing this. I mean, I hope I'm already providing, like meaningful and quality content in a different way that thread coding yeah there is also a probably bug report <laughs> wanna get touched by demands okay okay great so problem solved my attention yeah I don't like this 
Um, hmm. Damn, I'm tired. Yo, Presetizan. How's that part of Loki going? This part in here, it's going, yeah, I don't know. I still don't know. It takes me quite a while to find something really cool that I will keep. The rest of it is going pretty well. Okay. That's my cell phone. Don't ask me to shut it down. I won't. I need it. I need it for job. It's a what if you drove an outline of squid goals around the end. I did that as well. How's the problem at the shoulder part looking? Want me sh to show you? I'll show you. I'll show you briefly so I can... I can have a, a pause on on the hands. Uh, just dusting it as out. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. What about this girl's on knuckles? I'll, um, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea. Um, Thank you so much, Aiden. Thank you so much for um, for showing up, for hanging up with with us. I will definitely keep doing amazing work if I can. <laughs> I'm not promising anything. Crafting armor around those Nova hooves are becoming problematic. Yeah. I can see that Freyna is not. That's what I was talking about the other day. Looks good. Really nice. Well done. Thank you so much. This is the, like the other part. The that this is the other part. They are already baking pretty good. I mean, I'm having this problem right here, which I don't know where it came from. But let me just fix it in a second. Come on, stop it. Oh, uh, this is symmetry, that's the problem. Do you think you see a face on the front of the helmet? I haven't done that. No, you don't. It's, it's not true, Colin. <laughs> it's not a thing, you don't see a face. Do you? No, you don't. Come on. I will make sure you never unsee it. <laughs> oh no! Where is it? If I'll see it, I'll, I'll try to remove it. But It is imagined by your special eyes. It's a special face for special eyes. I mean, everybody came up with uh, things like this looks like that thing or that looks like this thing and uh, this is looks like a face, but it's not. I pointed out a nose of Faven's arm at any current series, so <laughs> you've broken Faven, okay. I mean, keep doing that. <laughs> Take them out. That's what I mean. <laughs> no, it's not. Well done. You won a face. Okay, now it's now it's okay. Where is the face? Come on. 
Tell me where the face is. This is a mask, it's not a face. I mean, I don't see any face in here. Any whatsoever. What are you talking about? Making it. In fact, I see it too. No, you don't. It's not true. What is the face? Oh, I see it. You see it? No, you don't. <laughs> I don't trust you. Oh, what face? I mean, come on. There are no face in my helmet. Let's move on. The orange parts below looks like a smile. No, they don't. The orange part looks like a smile. It's like a lizard mouth. Show me your face. <laughs> Giving him a mal blam. What's a blam? I don't see any face in here. Let me let me distract you. Where is the face? The two orange bits are eyes, and the line below is a mouth. Like it, it, that if you take in consideration that little tiny part, it looks like a, an angry frog or something. But it's the the whole helmet. That's golden wheel side looks cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Glam Shutter School says faces are overrated. It does sensor. Yeah, it does have sensor. I mean. Angry Frog Glocky confirmed, yes. I think... Uh, I don't know guys, I, I think you're crazy. Uh, <laughs> probably... I don't know how you can see a face in here. There are no faces. I gotta go out in a corner now. What I try to sort out this Nova skin. Yeah. Good luck with that. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Okay, Freddy Asmod. I mean... Try to do a, a good job. I, I know you will. This is awful. <laughs> I know you saw the face and you try to hold out. All it out of your mind? No, I, I didn't. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't look like a face. Also, you're not taking in consideration that the, all these will be different materials. So this yellow part will probably be a piece of metal, and I maybe change it into something a little bit more complicated, like um, those yellow things on the side. Right now, I haven't touched the, um, the helmet since um, the first streaming I've made, I think. I just saw another face. See, you see faces everywhere, so I, why would I trust you? We are crazy, confirmed by it, so... Yep, w was not, though, I mean... You guys are already of your mind. And... Seeing faces is a human thing, it's okay, I mean... It means you're not a robot. Yeah, seeing faces is one of the things you're... You're better at. Or at least your brain is one is better... It is one of the things your brain it's, it does best. You'll be able to spot uh, things on patterns and see faces because we are made to
take up facial cues and uh, understand them. That's how we communicate. So yeah, you will be able to see faces pretty much everywhere. Yeah, see, uh, you see on a face. Yeah, okay, good. That's a face. You just drew a face on top of my skin. <laughs> of course, that looks like a face. Come on, <laughs> stop it. That's what I just did. No, I'm joking though. Uh, I don't really see it. And uh, I'm sure you wouldn't when the model is, fin is finished because with um, all the materials, all the different colors you can give it. And also once I do another detail pass, I mean those details won't, won't be alone. So you're just crazy pretty much that that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know about this. I still don't know about this. I ended up doing this world. A, a new one, but it's still a swirl. Uh, this is probably okay though. I like it better. Code in the face center. The skin will be glorious. Hmm. Yep. It will. For all the wrong reasons. This piece is not really great. What can we do about it? Tell me. You tell me. I don't know. Nah, don't worry, I do know. Okay. So... I mean, it, uh, this needs to be fixed in, in any case. Uh, I don't like it. This is open. What about this? Um, no. No, no. No, no, no. What? Stop it. Okay. This is better, but still not uh, the best. We can't settle for anything less than the best. Keep the details on the end simple. I think it will look the best. Try to not overdo it. That's uh, actually a pretty good um, suggestion. I, you tend to um, keep adding details on top to try to fix stuff that's not very working so good. So yeah, I'll definitely have to be aware of that. But I think it's uh, it's pretty okay right now. I mean, it's looking okay because we just have this piece in here, this one, and this one. There are three separate, three separated, um, very clear shapes that will um, separate the fingers. Let me show you my my Orokin arm like this. <laughs> you liked it so much yesterday. I found a face on the verse. Come on, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Where's the face on the verse? <laughs> huh. <laughs> I think I've seen that face before. It will need. A lot of fixes though like and so many polish pass ah <sighs> god damn it okay let's just stop this um i think it's working 
don't want to add any more details. It's okay right now. Uh, let's let's sculpt it so we can move on. This is too tiny for a four. Probably need a two. Yeah, this is working better. <laughs> Coding your set on a ledger. I love to agree with that because that Ash Bios screenshot was like Mwah. we'll um, we'll publish it later. You know, I'm doing, uh, this is an error because I don't have symmetry turned on. Ah, freaking. So the DLC in 3 the end, a little before you started, as well as you start the process for each part of the moment. No, you, you are wrong, the strawberry girl. Or berry. Uh, you're wrong, I haven't inflated anything. I've just um, I've just painted it white to remove the um, art gray on the details, so I can see clearly shadows and um, and bumps when I'm sculpting. If it's if it's too gray, I mean, if I make a line, a line in here, it's kind of hard to see if I just turn this in a weird angle. But if it's uh, so clear, I mean, it's very visible. So yeah, I, I paint on top of it, then I just remove some some of the paint and uh, trace it. Then we'll add uh, later uh, more depth. That comic book ash picture has a system on the neck. Does it? I haven't noticed that. Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah, well we can like Photoshop a parrot on his shoulder to hide the assist if you want we look like a ninja pirate that's just a shame come on you can do better that works <laughs> yeah let's see the artist mind pirate ninja ash yep Where do I find this ash? Ash by you, you mean? You just buy it from the Tanogen marketplace on Warframe. If you start Warframe from Steam, from Steam store, sorry. Uh, and I don't know, it's on console for sure, uh, for Platinum. What do you mean? Where you can find that ash? It's my beautiful ash by you. Do 
did you know that I have, I still have um, the first version of Ash Bayou on my art station page? You probably don't remember that, but uh, the first version I've made, he had a bandana on his face. It was pretty cool. I think it's still very cool right now, but it was somewhat different. It's, it's a tiny, I mean, if you appreciate Ash Bayou, we would probably appreciate that one as well. It's probably uh, one of one of the skins that I've changed, but I forgot to change it on my art station page, and uh, it stayed like that because I'm lazy. Well, that's the reason, and uh, I haven't. Went, I I didn't went back to change it yet. I may I may still do, but uh, if you want to see Ash Bayou with um, a blindfold. You can find it on my art station page. So, as a total newbie here, can you explain how this works? This is a skin and not a model. That groove you are making is actually 3D or 2D shader. This is a skin, but it's a model because um, a skin is just a model that you have to make uh, sure it fits on the main model so it's uh, it's actually more difficult than making an entire model from scratch so no it's not an effect this is how the 3d stuff works and this is the same exact way you will go and to do a, a 3d model from the scratch I just have to um, to skip the um, low poly making version uh, or step, and I'm be sure that uh, what I'm sculpting right now it fits on the main, the original 3D model. But making the um, the low poly version is actually pretty easy, so it's not uh, it's not so it's not different. So you're recreating polygons with details. How the hell does Warframe perform so well with all that? Is uh, I'm gotcha. Well, it's because uh, you make uh, the high poly model. This this right now is probably 15 million polygons. Uh, but it will go higher for sure when I'm adding uh, tiny details. Uh, I mean, uh, Faven was talking before and his model was already 75 million polygons. That will, I will probably go up to 50 million, something like that, maybe 45. I don't think I'll need 75 million polygons to do it, but you never know. Yeah, there is not a limit for that. Once you have uh, your high poly model, uh, you have to make a low polygon version of it, which is like a shell of this shape. And, um, and you'll transfer the detail with textures on top of that low polygon model. That's how you make a, a 3D model for a video game. For any video game, that's how it works. Uh, only in the case of a skin for a pre-existing model, you have to be sure that um, your low polygon model is the same as the original. So you have to make uh, the 3D high poly version that, that's already fitting the shape of the original, which is more complicated than uh, making a new, a brand new 3D polygon. Uh, low polygon model. It's a smoke and mirrors. Well, I mean, Warframe models are still about 10,000 polygons, probably more. 
I mean, just the helmets are 5,000 polygons, so it's pretty much pretty high end. There are games that go as far as uh, 40,000 40, polygons for um, a model. On um, LOD one, sometimes they go even higher for faces, for sure. Yo, hello, iceberg. But yeah, for a, a moving model, they are pretty standard. You don't really need uh, all those polygons to to make a good model, like all those millions of polygons. It, it's no use. But you need them if you are want to make tiny details on them. You met the durian last Saturday and didn't even knew it was him and you freaked out when he arrived at your home. Guess keep it simple. Stupid, yeah. Thanks for the explanation. Um you're welcome. I enjoy explaining you guys how it works. Is the fucking god on making photo bash concepts? It was in an art session. Oh, really? I mean, all concept artists should be very good at photo bashing. The Durian, I think I remember him for uh, his paintings. I was supposed to demo some Tenogen lore and end up playing, then introducing Tenogen to them. Mostly to the artists, like 15 people. That's that's very cool. We don't have stuff like that in here. I mean, you're... I don't know. A glitch you skin into the operator. Oh, I mean, uh, what? I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, Colin. And the operator doesn't really know. What? What the fuck is that? You're cool people. They invited. They invited you. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty awesome, but. I'm just uh, I'm envying you I'm envying you right now because we don't have stuff like that uh, where I live I'm pretty much alone there are some artists in here but uh, none of them that I know of are uh, professionals at this level like AAA or anything Anything really that goes m more than uh, the cell phone game. I mean, close when I live. And in Italy, there are pretty good artists all over, but uh, it's hard to to find them. Most of them are outside, like uh, working all over Europe. So it's pretty cool that you have the opportunity to hang out with great uh, artists on your uh, on your land, if you know what I mean. It's a great experience for sure. Where in the world are you, lad? I'll tell you where he is. Right now he's probably burning his neighbor house just for fun. Just because he can. <laughs> isn't, isn't it? Am I wrong?
get swallow on him. I can't do shit. Oh, sorry. That's the only reason uh, you can go outside and burn your neighborhood house. Is that it? It's too late. Okay. When do you think you'll have this skin in a final form? Like Super Saiyan 4? I don't know. Uh, probably in about two weeks. I will have to take some time off of the streams to work faster because um, it's very fun to work uh, with you guys in here, but it's kind of distracting somehow. That's my excuse why I'm so slow. I shouldn't have said that, I think. No, though, for real. Um, I work a, a little faster when, um, when I can concentrate more. Huh, and then the Southern Lens Replacer. Oh, yeah. How are you, lad? No, not rip stream, but uh, for a couple of days I'll probably speed things up. I mean, I'm not strip I'm not streaming every day already, so I'm trying to as much as I can. But sometimes I have stuff to do, so I just skip it. And uh, yeah, if I take one or two days off, I can probably finish this in two weeks. So we can move on on painting it, because that's the most fun part. And also I have all the stuff to finish up as well. I think I still can't read with my red eye, but I can definitely see your face on the corner. A little bit of blood left. Oh. Well, it worked, right? You're recovering pretty well, I hope. I'm sorry I haven't asked you before. I uh, Sometimes I totally forget what's going on around me. Um, yeah, a lot of work. Great, that's that's really good news. I'm glad. I'm so I'm really glad. Sorry if I haven't asked you before about it. I knew it was going on. I'm a fire in my laser. Yep. Okay, you do you, Pixie D or Pixie Da? I don't know. Okay, let's add some depth to this. Right eye is pretty fucked too. What do you guys do with your eyes? I mean, I, I'm just saying things. I know it's nothing to do with what you do with those. I can see shit. I can see shit, but blurry as fuck. Um. Molded by it. Can't you fix it up somehow? There's nothing you can't do about it. I had a, I had a friend like that though, uh, but uh, he managed. I'm sorry though. I mean, it, it seemed like um, 
there was nothing that could stop him. So I hope it's your case as well. I still thankfully have perfect vision, though on my last checkup they said oh you'll probably need glasses in the next 5 years because age. That's what they keep saying to me as well. Oh, you should uh, go check your eyes because you're working with screens all the time. But uh, still, um, I'm perfectly able to see m better than most people so far. Who knows? Yeah, age will um, will make your vision go away a little bit. But I don't know if you'll need glasses for it. Probably in the future, yeah, for for reading up close. What what is it? Is yeah, it's probably for up close. I can't remember. Only thing I can't do, I cannot work out like heavy lifting, pressure, and then my eyes bleed. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember that. Because my my aunt has uh, a pressure problem in her eyes, and yeah, that sucks. You have to be very careful. Uh, well, you'll um, you can catch up. I mean, it's your eyes are the most important thing, since you're an artist. So take care of yourself uh, right now and uh, you'll do all the stuff later, don't worry about it. <laughs> I think we all need them eventually but I'm just going to deny it for as long as possible. Yeah, that's what everybody does. Uh, I, I just don't, I, I, I won't care if I have to wear glasses, but I just, uh, I don't know why people keep saying to me that, uh, ah, you, why don't you go check your eyes? I mean, uh, why would I? I can read from afar if I want, I, they work. I'm pretty lucky about uh, those things. So fuck them. <laughs> That's pretty much uh, well, what I'm saying. Um, for months we're not going to the gym. Yeah. When you broke your elbow. Oh damn, that should hurt a lot. I'm sorry to hear that. Four months without going to the gym. Yeah, you could have worked your legs. <laughs> I made like two huge legs. Like, uh, I don't know. I know, I can train my legs for a first set of eyes, healthy eyes, I would, I mean no, I mean you need your legs as well. I don't know, that's that's a, a hard trade that to, to do. But well, I guess, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're pretty young still, are you, right? So definitely not, not my age. So yeah, your eyes are very important. Cannot sculpt with my legs. Shall I prove you wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> prosthetics look cool though. They're not there yet. They're not there yet though. I mean, in the future we will look like uh, Deus Ex. When that, when that comes, uh, I mean, definitely, but right now, I mean, it would be best to have both. Gotta go grab the glorious hamburger. Well, you're making me hungry, so goodbye. You can go. <laughs> yeah. See ya, Pexy, Pexide. Pexidy. I don't know. I don't know how to say your name. You you'll tell me one day. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Come on. Enjoy your hamburger. 
I wish I had one for myself, though. But I'm too busy doing doing Tanogen stuff. So, Led, say, all those collaboration goals coming up. I've seen you doing like a million things at once. Hmm. Hmm. Let me check something. No, I'm okay. It's like a preparation if I'm gonna work with digital extremes, different artists, different concepts. That's a really good practice. Yes. They approach things differently. Uh, well, that shouldn't happen though. <laughs> That's not right. I get Yunzuka is a bit uh, perfectionist, but whole process is so streamlined. Uh, well, I think because he's, uh, isn't he a professional, like a freelancer already? So he, he knows what to provide you with. I droxate, he gives me freedom, which is like a synonym of saying he doesn't know. <laughs> it's just letting you do the work. <laughs> yes. Your first collaboration with Lager is a test. Yeah. <laughs> You're laughing because you know I'm right. <laughs> I wonder if you could hide a smiley face on the spot between the helmet and the neck and get away with it. Yes, I can. Who's saying I've done that already? You don't know what I've been done in my skins that you can't say. Maybe there might be like a dick somewhere. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I will never do that. Do you know though, um, it was like a, a very funny story, but um, a contractor for uh, the game, uh, which one was? It's probably the first... Uh, what's, uh, what's the name of that game with uh, uh, the mask thing and uh, you are kind of a ninja with magic powers? Uh, I don't remember. Fuck, I don't remember the name. I'm shit at names. Uh, Dishonored. Okay, yeah, it's Dishonored. No, it's uh, Dishonored. Aragami, no. No, no, Dishonored, I remember. Um, 
uh, there was this artist they hired, I think. I don't remember if it was a contractor or it was uh, um, somebody that worked with them. And uh, they made them do like uh, a lot of uh, models for the game, like um, prop props. And uh, he draw a dick on uh, the part of the, um, the textures you can't see. On all of them, <laughs> there, is a, <laughs> there is a picture of a dick hand drawn on every texture of that game pretty much <laughs> on the part you can't see so all the artists once he, he was called out all the artists stopped doing that for fun because now everybody is checking for those <laughs> so you can't do that anymore wait what texture like uh, i don't know a rock texture the part that's underneath you can you will never see there's probably a yeah, dick drone in there. <laughs> it was so funny. I love it. I love it so hard at that. Because it's something that everybody has done before. <laughs> but it was found out because it, it did it to a lot. A lot of models. It was so funny. I think it's Dishonored though. I think I remember correctly. Let me check. Maybe, no, I think it's this one. Um, it's not this one, what game was that, though? No, fuck, I, I was wrong. It's a uh, state of decay. Is it? <laughs> yes, it was state of decay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just um, made some misinformation. Yeah. I said it'll be Oh, it was such a good story. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Yes. I was right. I just messed up the name of the game. Why do I remember this honor though? It probably happened uh, before. Hmm. Well, I was thinking the wrong game, but it's that story. Deconored, yes. So, as you can see, yeah, you can hide some stuff. <laughs> where uh, nobody can see but uh, it would mean that if you if you are caught up you are not an artist that works with software houses anymore <laughs> you should have done that but uh, I mean I would hire that guy just have my game full of dicks over the ones Maybe that's what happens when you pay like way less than you should for your artists. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just... I don't know if that's the case. I have no information about it. But it was very funny. 
So no, I I won't do that. Okay, now I need um, I need a little more depth on this. It's pretty messy already. I mean, still. I have too much uh, lazy radius, that's messing me, messing me up. This is working better, okay. So, yeah, very good. I just noticed that your rush skin has a code piece plate. What's a code piece plate? Sorry, probably I don't know the name, but that's what it is. I don't know. That's a, a deep cover, yes. I bet artists add stuff on sculpts all the time, it's so tempting. Yes, I add little triangles all over my skins. But they are not very hidden. I mean, it's pretty clear that's um, something I do. I don't know if there is somebody trying to find them. <laughs> I should have made printed scalpel on the inside of the helmet of Limbo, <laughs> like uh, on on the hat. So when you do the animation, the penis comes out. Yes, you should have. I mean, I will. But uh, I think people are going to notice. Why <laughs> bother the way they have warframes with the X and you know developers anyway, yeah. Yeah, why bother? I was literally have a, as a boner. I mean, come on. There is no shame in that. Neither should be proud. Nidus is probably a nightmare to sculpt at those parts. No, it is not. It's not more uh, of a nightmare than um, than Loki. I can tell you as much. He is all organic anyway, so it should be uh, probably easier. He should get an STD checkup first. Yeah, uh, well. Well, you do have the the cyst removal machine <laughs> on on the side of your ship. You you can probably do something about a Nidus boner. I don't know. I'm not a warframe medical expert. It seems like a a, a problem though.
What are you guys talking about anyway? <laughs> Why are we talking about this? <laughs> am I boring you? I probably am. This part is very boring, yeah, I know. This is why I've never streamed before, if you want to know. I have, I always thought it was a boring thing to show you how it's made, because most of the times very little things are happening and they are so slow. But then I said, yeah, well, fuck it, uh, if I'm bored, they should be uh, as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, I will have new viewers. Uh, I don't talk when I work. You're concentrated, that's uh, that's okay. I'm kind of... I'm slower. I'm definitely slower if I have to talk when I'm working. And it's hard to design st stuff. That's why I don't do it in the morning. The, in the morning I make the designs, um, the major ones. Or I just move on um, doing faster things, so things like I, w I want to do in a faster manner. Then in the evening, it's cool to just chill out, do details and uh, be able to talk to other humans. Can you get away with adding a camel toe in a sculpt? I think yes. I. If I remember correctly, some board frames have something like that. I don't remember because uh, I don't usually mind those things, but now that you're mentioning it, um, I think I've worked on stuff on stuff like that already because the Vara Trinity, I, I don't know, it's probably something I've already done. I don't remember very well but yeah it's just um, like human anatomy come on guys how many hours you put in a day uh, well about 10 hours but sometimes it's more than that sometimes I I work from 9 to I don't know till I go to bed. Some other times I work like six hours because I have other stuff to do. It's not uh, constant every day, but most of the days it's about 10 hours. That's what um, freelancer artists do. So it's kind of a problem because everybody is working so hard and they are, and everybody is so good that you have, you kind of have to work uh, so much to keep up. Or try to get ahead, you know, I don't know if, if that's your thing. Uh, but um, it's the video game industry. It, it needs stuff done, it needs, it needs it quickly. And if you want to do quality stuff, you can't be very, very fast. Because you still have to think about stuff and make changes. So the only way to do it is to work for long hours. Pretty much. On top of the... Um, on top of the getting better and being faster. But it's hard. Uh, I mean, there is nothing you can do if you have to do like a, a very good and not repeat yourself um, model. If you have to repeat yourself and you have to do something that you have already done a million times, in that case you, you will be very fast. You won't need to think about um, how to make it different. So you cut a lot of time that you will spend on designing stuff because you've already done that like a lot of times.
I don't know what you guys prefer though. Do you think it's better um, to do less works and uh, but spend a lot of time on those and have them a very unique or maybe make uh, more works and um, do them like very similar to each other without too many changes on the aesthetics and something like that and have, have them have more of them <clears throat> I can never tell what you guys prefer because uh, Warframe audience is uh, so very that um, that's hard to figure out and as you can see like there is a, a lot of Tanojan artists that are doing different things like I'm definitely doing less Warframes than like for instance uh, Faven does <coughs> you could start a series of Warframes with their own team yeah but uh, what team that will be I'm I'm thinking because this Warframe has a team and I've already done other Warframes with the same team but uh, they are, they are very extremely designed so that's that's not um, that wouldn't mean that you can do them way more fast way more faster than if they have a team if you have the money then definitely do the more interesting stuff it's a money problem then because you think you'll sell less doing the more interesting stuff you don't think you'll make um, the same amount of money or you can make or you won't even make more money if you have more stuff on the market than uh, if you have more quality stuff on the market or different or um, more interesting in any like let's say let's just say more interesting Because I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if I agree with that. If the quality is the same, then yes, then yes for sure. Uh, you're just making less, less models. So uh, same quality, less models equals less sales. That probably depends on how good you are and what point in your career are you. Hmm. Yeah, well, but uh, if you are going to do more models and you are like it's if it's you, it, it doesn't depend on how good you are. Maybe you're you're saying that it depends on how far you can push on the quality side, right? Try flattening the bevels around the start of the fingers so they appear to come out like a glove. Um, I need to add details on the fingers, but they are too thin. I don't know why it does have so thin fingers. Some I don't know why the his fingers are so thin. Uh, but I'll try. Maybe, or maybe I'll do something else. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll add some weird details in here I don't know, I don't really want to do fingers now 
because it's uh, it's complicated and very boring. So let's do something some bigger shape. Most Warframe fingers are spaghetti for some reason. Yeah. They're very thin. I mean, uh, that this is a problem when you're making a skin. Because you'll have to make the fingers fit the, uh, the standard model, the base model, the original one. So it's not that you can do something very different on uh, such a tiny piece of model. I always had to figure out something, uh, something clever. I don't know what uh, what to do with this one though. It's very complicated. I don't know. Uh, come on, let's move on. Let's not do this right now. Let's do something we can do fast, because I will go in a while, in a short while uh, actually. And um, we will continue this one tomorrow probably. I'll be sure I'll have added, uh, I've added more details by tomorrow. Let's... Um, oh, come on, why? You see what I mean? I've been working on this hand like for the last hour and none of the details have transferred in here. Have I forgot to uh, to use symmetry? No, I haven't. Right? It's just the symmetry that's fucked up. Oh damn, I hate this. Can you show us what your other skin sculpt look like? Yeah, let's do that. Let's save this and let's do that. I'll continue tomorrow. I'm I'm too tired to do um, design stuff right now. So let me show you. What what do you want to see? You like it? Eh? RLC Gaming. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. It's been very hard to work on this. Do you want to see the sculpt of the upcoming Siren skin? Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's let's load that. What is it? Sarin sculpts Valenosa is this one? No problem, I appreciate your skins. Good job, thank you so much. Thank you. It's probably this one. Oh boy, I don't remember. I hope it's this one. Yeah, yes, it is. Big fan of the bio. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have you seen coding screenshot? When do you like this? This camera angle. Coding. Show the screenshot. Finding link. Good. Let me add uh, add this back. You people are not trustworthy. Check out 
Check that out, RLC Gaming. That's the best screenshot ever. If you like uh, Ash Bayou, that is. Do I still have them? Yes. You love it. <laughs> How the fuck did you fit all those sire stuff in the UVS? <sighs> Going crazy. Can you make tits bigger? Come on. No. <laughs> no, I can't. I, I'm not magical. Just a little. No. <laughs> no, I won't. Stop it. Did you use duplicated stuff so it shares the same UV? No, I'm just that good. No, I haven't though. Look, brothers, it's okay, Baba. Well, yes, a tiny bit. <laughs> no, <laughs> dude, she is falling on her face. As it is, they're not exactly small. Yeah. They're not. <laughs> Good job. See ya tonight soon. Uh, see ya, Martin. Have a nice day. Limbo Vistic so was kind of tricky to me to make asymmetrical tricky. Yes, I can see that. You see all that tiny little details there on this thing like, like on the fingers there are kind of streams I'd like to see more of there under the Warframe category those are, yeah, I will, I will do probably once a day if I can will they hire a physics in game? I've asked for it I'm not sure they've done it though. I hope so. I really much hope so. And uh, the glasses are not in there though. I'm sorry. I'm just teasing you. Uh, let me show you how many details there are on this freaking thing. This is just uh, 22 million polygons. So, no, total is 50, 52. Uh, so as is stick, but boobs aren't. It's not my. It's not my fault. Stupid uh, fucking Zephyr fucking fuckwings. Okay. <laughs> I'm sensing you're having some problems with us. I don't know what gives it out, but. Uh, damn. Do it when you can. And feel like. I feel like. Yes. Yes, I will do more often. We are all doing it more often. The Daniel is gonna freak out with all those kind of the certain skins. I hope she's gonna freak out about this one. I kind of made made it with her in mind. I hope she'll appreciate she'll appreciate it. This is a skin. Yes. Show us how the bake turned out. Okay. Uh, one second. Uh, the damn fucking arm blade, the geo is all fucked up, so it bakes like a spastic kitten. <laughs> damn, poor spastic kittens. Okay, arm blades are bad and then they now lose fit. Hmm, I don't know. Sahela Shabar, no, stop it. Joking, good work. <laughs> okay, thanks. Wolves are fine. All the pinchy pinchy details on the upper boobs part. Thank you. It kinda looks like someone <laughs> bite it. Yeah, well. 
it makes sense. She also does have like cuts um, details on her a little bit. From where are you? I'm from Italy. Can't you tell? Okay, so this is the sculpt. Let me let me show you uh, the final model. I'm not so good with accents. Uh, yeah, well, I'm trying to learn to to speak in English pretty much. <laughs> I'm going to mix a Grax skin with a Copra helmet. <laughs> Just because you can. Yep. Okay, good. Make those guys freak out. I'm all for it. Probably this one, yeah. You did a great job, thank you so much. Just a second though, I'm setting up uh, the low poly model so you can see how it turned out. Where are the materials? I don't, I don't remember. Okay, here we go. Three, four, okay, let's, let's work it with four, not five, four. The two things on the left and right of Sari Yad seems to become low rising game. Uh, I think I've managed to make them look good anyway. You'll see. You'll see in a short bit. I'm aware of that problem, so I, I've been very careful about those. Is this the wrong one? Oh yeah, yeah, well, they will always be mm, low res, more or less, due to the texture sheet from those being stupid is more, yes, they are um, more low res than they should. For something that uh, as close to the camera, yeah, I, uh, that's, that's a mistake. You're really creative, thank you so much. Uh, you should make a cool Naito skin, like with pieces missing on this body finger. So yeah, yeah, we'll do a, a Naito skin for sure. Like next, uh, next after Loki. All right, I'm ready. Let me show you how it looks like. I probably can do it like this, which is way better resolution. Yes, great. Uh, the colors are wrong, but never mind. No, actually, the warping colors are not wrong. Um, where is it? Where is it? I'm having troubles <laughs> setting this up. Come on. All right, we we are we're good. So 
So this is how it turned out. Uh, they're not so low as. They're not so low as. No boys. I mean, they hold up pretty well, I think. The hair reminds you a little of Splatoon. <laughs> really? Okay. I don't know why. Yeah, there are details on this that it's not, it won't look exactly like this because I think I've removed a lot of this um, gritty details uh, for the um, for the final model. I love the crossed eye piece. Thank you so much, uh, Barry. Thank you so much. That's the um, I had to come up uh, with this because the previous model uh, she had like three curls in here, and uh, DE didn't like them. So I had to figure out something else interesting to to give her, and uh, this works pretty well, I think. The hard piece is a nice touch. Yeah, thank you. This is actually the the submitted coloration. Does Sari Navar? She does now. They're not like hair, hair. Uh, they're like tentacles. <laughs> Kinda. No, very weird. Mind blown. Good. That's what I like to hear. Takoyaki hair, yeah. Tentacle Sentai. Perfect. <laughs> Splatoon air is tentacles, that's why it reminds you of that, right? And a very nice, okay, cool. <laughs> I guess. So, this is going to be on your clients tomorrow. If you... If you don't mind. It's going to be... It's going to be released tomorrow, though. Should be. Huh. No, I dread will do the job. Yeah. Yeah, that that as well. How can you get the skin? Uh, they will be released on the Tenogen market within Warframe. If you use Warframe within Steam. Hide skirt. I can't. Or can I? Actually, I can. Uh, give me a second. I'll have to stop this. Uh, I will need this on the side. I play on PS4 RIP. You should be able to have them. Uh, I don't know if it's tomorrow. On the PS4 and Xbox One, uh, probably. I don't know. The weapons comes out like at the same time. I don't remember. But uh, yeah, when next time they release Tenogen stuff, you will have this. You want me to remove the the skirt, right? Don't know which one it is. This one? No. This one? Yes. I'm sure you're asking because you want to see the cool details behind it, right? That's the reason. What if I don't ever turn the camera? Are you pleased? Perfect. <laughs> oh, damn. I 
I'll be going now. I need to see how she has a bulge. Does she? <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. It's hidden, but... Uh, but I had to do it. And... Uh, that's because I worked so hard to do it for Excalibur that uh, it seems unfair. Oh, there's a text <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm assuming you see a face on that <laughs> part as well, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Strawberry Girl already figured you out. Um, let me show you what else is coming up. Uh, not this one. Where is the Corona Sandal? Yeah, there is a triangle, of course. Let's also... Let's also give her Corona to play with. This will be released as well at the same time. Is this the only version of Corona I have? Hmm. I mean, it's quite a mess in, on my uh, on my Unity client right now because I always keep adding stuff and I always forgot to rem remove them. Put the corona on the face. No. I can do something like. Uh, like this. I can give her bat wings. Not bat like the animal, but. Let's say. Ass wings. Like this. This very. Very manga style. I don't know why I'm doing it though. Uh, it's, it's a stupid thing to do. All right, you've seen it. You've seen it. This is how it turns out. This is why Sandana positioning needs to become a thing. Uh, well, I know. <laughs> I know. It can't be my choice though. And this is what it was before. I'm making a mess. I should lock them in place. I can't, can I? I don't know. Well, this is it. This is it. This is the model, and that's what you'll get. Pretty much all the details are in there. So it turns it, it turned out very well. So you can expect cool things from Loki, I think. It's pretty safe to assume. And also I'm sorry about those glasses, uh, they won't be in there. I'm sorry. Alright, so guys, I'm very tired right now, and uh, I think it's time. Unless you don't want to see another Warframe, but... Uh, well, let's do that tomorrow. Come on. I'll have to rest a little bit, then I'll come back to finish uh, my Nyx. No Nyx, sorry, my Loki skin. And uh, I'll show you tomorrow the results. Alright. Okay, good night. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.